Here we are at the Ivy Hill Cemetery and Crematory in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And in this video, we are paying our respects and going over the life and resting place of Joni Sledge. Joni Sledge was best known for being a part, along with her sisters, Debbie, Kim, and Kathy, of the 1970s disco group, Sister Sledge. Joni Sledge was born the third of five daughters in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Edwin Sledge, a tap dancer, and his actress wife, Flores, Nee Williams. Sledge majored in communications while in college and began acting in the school productions at Temple University. During her sophomore year at Temple, she directed her first stage play, Wildflower, written by Hazel Bright and produced by Ron Alexander. Sometimes during her career, Sledge briefly lived in France. The four sisters were trained in singing by their grandmother, Viola Williams, a former lyric soprano opera singer and protege of civil rights leader Mary McLeod Bethune. Under their grandmother's guidance, they sang at their family church, Williams Temple Christian Methodist Episcopal, and later performed at charity and political events throughout their hometown of Philadelphia. In 1971, the four sisters formed the group Sister Sledge, and for the next several years, they had minor success. She has been described as a warm extrovert. The Sledge sisters attended Olney High School. Joni graduated in 1974. The group's fortune turned when they met Bernard Edwards and Niles Rogers of the hit group Chic. The pair and produced the group's most famous album, We Are Family, in 1979, which consisted of their biggest hit songs, We Are Family, And then, he's the greatest dancer. The album also contained the classic disco singles, Lost in Music and Thinking of You. They were nominated for a Grammy for their album and single, We Are Family became the theme song for the 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates World Series winning team. They later released several other albums and performed in concerts worldwide with moderate success. But it wasn't as big as it had been with the hit single, We Are Family. The sisters continued to perform even though sister Kathy left the group for a solo career into the 21st century. In 2015, they performed for Pope Francis at the World Festival for Families in Philadelphia. Joni Sledge was also a songwriter and producer, writing and producing the song Brother Brother Stop for a Sister Sledge Greatest Hits album in 1996. Sledge's production of their album, African Eyes, which was released in 1997, was nominated for a Best Production Grammy. Sledge had one child, a son named Thaddeus Everett White IV, from her marriage to Thaddeus E. White III, which was from 1992 until 2000. The song We Are Family has become a huge phenomenon of its time and is still played to this day. You can see it in many movies, such as Coming to America, which is a recent film, and all these other type of films that we will show you on display.
And then also you can hear the song at your family reunions, movies, soundtracks, any outdoor activity. You will really appreciate the song. Then you also have heard the song, He's the Greatest Dancer, recently in certain motion pictures such as Roll Bounce. And for all you hip hop heads, you may hear the sample of the beat, He's the Greatest Dancer, from another Philadelphia legend, the Fresh Prince Will Smith song, Getting Jiggy With It. Sledge had one child, a son named Thaddeus Everett White the Fourth from her marriage to Thaddeus E. White III, which was from 1992 until 2000. Joni Sledge, at the age of 60, was found dead by a friend at her home on March 11, 2017 in Phoenix, Arizona. Her death was originally attributed to unknown circumstances, as she had no known illness, according to her close family sources. On March 14, 2017, Sledge's cause of death was ruled a natural causes. We will be showing you some footage of when the news broke of her unexpected death. That is Joni Sledge in pink singing the classic We Are Family. Well, sadly, she passed away at her Phoenix home on Friday. Her publicist told CNN and confirmed the information. She is, of course, the founding member of the vocal group Sister Sledge. The group became famous in 1979 with that hit song. Joni and sisters Debbie, Kim, and Kathy all made up Sister Sledge, although Kathy left the group in 1989. Now, there's no word on how Joni died, though her rep has said her family was shocked because she had not been ill. She was 60 years old. Now, we will be showing you her resting place. We also want to make note that her mother, Flores, is also buried in the same cemetery. And we may also be doing a video, so stay tuned for that. Miss Joni Sledge, may you rest in peace. May you rest in peace. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on who we should do next in the comments. This is Infinitely Productions. We love ya!